yo, what is going on you guys? It is your boy, Daddy Pete. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks for Tilted and how to walk out of there like pretty much every single time with 5 plus kills. So pretty much a route that you can take. And as long as you can aim straight and, you know, build like decently, um, you should be able to drop 5 plus kills easy every single time. So, without further ado, let's One of the most important things is trying to get a good drop. You want to try to get relatively low but you also want to be too low to miss your building because I mean if there's a lot of people here you need to be uh, the first one so um you want to land at Trump or this big brick building and I messed up my landing a little bit I'm too low I think yeah usually you want to go on top and loot it but it, it and uh and scope down and try to get some AR kills but if you land right here you miss your landing it's gonna happen it's fine too so, you know, you just want to loot up quick, you know, whatever. And then you want to start beating down, like, every single uh, wooden pallet in here. And then you just want to loot this whole entire building. Alrighty, so once you uh, usually get some mats and, like, an AR and uh, hopefully some shields, what you want to do is just, I usually come up right here. I kind of scout out where everybody's at. I try to find where people are fighting at, and I just try to third-party fight. So, you know, I'll, I'll just literally play by ear. And a lot of times, people will be fighting over by L's. People will be fighting in Big Bertha. And also, since they cut off this part of the building, it's a really easy line of sight just to everywhere. And if you don't see anything over here, I usually go up here and just play on top of this building. And then like this. And then whenever, you know, you stop getting kills like this, what you want to do is uh, just, just start rushing people. And, uh... You know, wherever they are, just go towards them and honestly just push them. Like, always try to be the aggressor. But there are going to be times, like, especially if you're playing solo squads or solo duos, there are going to be times where you get stuck. And I cannot tell you how many times I've been stuck in this gas station. And one of the best things to do in this game is to shoulder peek. Most, like, this is not really, like, an advanced tip, but a lot of people don't use this. And it's so easy, especially with, especially with, um console having aim assist all you have to do is just i i sit right here uh try to have it on your right shoulder because that's how this game is angled up you shoot uh it's easier to shoulder peek when um you're shoulder peeking with your right shoulder and then people will just run at you you know so i, I once you have your left protected you know you can kids will literally run at you and you can just easy every single time make sure you ads so you get aim and then you just easy shots and then you know eventually kids will probably hear you and they'll try to go in through this way and what a lot of kids will do is they'll open this door, you know, and then they'll be stuck right there. And then what they try to do is they'll try to pull out their pickaxe or they'll just sit there kind of like stupefied because they're, they, there's usually not a ramp here. And, you know, you can just get a quick edit off and shoot them too. And I, I can tell you, like, I've done this multiple times where I've taken out squads when I've been stuck here. And it always works. And another really good place is to, if you get uh, clustered, is to come right into here. And just start playing shoulder angles in this one. So like right here, you know, that's a really easy one. Um, right here, easy. And one of definitely my probably favorite one is um, right here. You have the door protection. You don't really have to worry about people coming to your right too much. And your back is usually good. And people will literally just run right, right into you. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. The thing about this is uh, some people like shoulder peeking the stairs. But I feel like you have to expose a lot of your body and uh, kids will be predicting it a lot more. Another big thing about like trying to drop a lot of kills, especially if you're in like solo squads, is trying to be unpredictable. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's like every single building, I have like spots that I like to go to. I mean, just get just get used to the habit of shoulder peeking, you know, just like this. And another thing is, whenever you're shoulder peeking, I'll try to find a good corner to do it on. Um. This is one of the biggest tips that a lot of people don't realize that they're doing, and I didn't really realize I was doing it either. Let me go back over here and show you guys. Um, let me go right here. A lot, a lot. Oh my gosh, my voice cracked. A lot of people don't realize that, like, if you if you're a ADSing, your gun can you it got, your gun goes straight to the wall. The people on the other other side can see you, and they'll you know they're obviously gonna know you're there. But if you just have it like this and you're not ADSed until they start running at you, they won't know that you're there. And a lot of times they'll just full sprint at you and you have an easy one pump. So always make sure you're not ADSing until you're actually about to take a shot. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this, uh, the tips and suggestions. Um, now I'm gonna actually try to do it in a real game. 
So, oh no, he's lagging. All right, so like literally, this is so important. You get so, if you if you there, I know people are really good at getting the drop down for big brick, the big brick building. If you can get the drop down, dude, there's so many free easy kills in the beginning. You just drop, jump up there, and then kids will like see. Like I have a decent landing this time. It could have been better, but hopefully the building will actually load up. The, that kid isn't even. That kid's invisible. Load up, load up. Yeah, I got. It sucks. Not even loading up. So that happens sometimes. So usually I'll try to work my way from the bottom to the top. Grab an AR, and then try to find some shield. The, the minis are invisible sometimes. That's really. Annoying. I think these kids are like at the second level. I'm not sure where this kid is, I can hear him though. He's kind of top. This, this is one of the most nasty shoulder angle shoulder peak angles right here. If that guy was the same bomb as me. Screaming this screaming this corner is so nasty. And then I'll just play aggressively on this kid that he isn't very good. And then once, you know, you try to loot some stuff, try to grab some mats. Sometimes I just play by ear. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just go out and challenge it like it is. I don't have a ton of health. And I don't have a ton of mats, so I just start beating stuff down. Like, I, I can hear people fighting, and if you really want to go for, like, really high gameplays, you're going to need to challenge that. But, I mean, if you're trying to drop 15 to, uh, you know, 20 kills, you really only need, like, 5 or 10 at the start. And then your rotation, which I'll probably make a video on that soon, too. Your rotation is very important, too. But, I mean, if you're a decent player, you, you walk out of a tilt of uh, 5 kills, you can easily, easily get 10 kills, 10 kills by the end of the game. 20 kills, you need a little bit more luck and you need to be pretty good, but 10 to 15, that's easy. You have a good game. Now, right now, I, I, since they're fighting, I, I kind of just want to go for this right off the bat. I'm, I'm going to play aggressive. I usually would go for the verticality play, but since they're already fighting, I don't want to wait. Oh, shit. That was that. I just got Kobe, dude. Like, I actually just got Kobe. Oh, dude. See, this is the thing about aiming through windows. It's very hard because you don't get aim assist. Shoulder peeking. Dude, that shoulder. This shoulder peeking wall is, dude. That's really all it is. I try to find this kid coming up these stairs. There you go, five kills, you know, and now like it's uh, getting a little bit more quieter here, so I'm going to start playing more aggressively, you know, because there are a lot, oh, whoa. And then a lot of times, like, I'll kill somebody, I'll knock somebody, and then I'll just, I'll just build up to the top of building and start playing for verticality. This kid seems like he might be decent, he's building. Alright. Right there. Oh, shoot, I'm getting shot at. I thought that would have been the last kid. Oh, there's two more, so now you just gotta come. In. I really do not want to get started. Now, see this is this is kind of an awkward spot because I don't have too many maps. And those kids aren't gonna be playing very aggressively, but they don't seem like the best players ever. So once again, I I'm still gonna play aggressively on them. I have a I have that kid. Literally, I think I have that kid one health. Yeah. Okay. So now that I have Mads, I'm pretty much free to play aggress as aggressively as I want to. This guy's just gonna push me on high ground.
Up, he's rising his teammate. I just heard it. Oh my. Alrighty. Now I kinda need to find he heals. There you go. That was my first game on, and I just now you just wanna loot up, try to find more heals, obviously. That usually that doesn't happen. But I mean it actually it kinda does happen a lot. If you clear on tilted, you know, you're gonna get hit a few times before you rotate out. You wanna try to find heals and stuff. Perfect, just like that. You wanna there's always gonna be leftover loot. Unless it's a really popping tilted bus, there's always gonna be leftover loot. Uh, for you to grab before you walk out, walk out of tilted, but I mean that's pretty much it like nine kills You know and now now you rotate to salty or retail or anywhere that's popping I usually try to go east because hey, there's rifts over there But yeah, that's pretty much it and if you guys like this you want to see more videos like um, About places like to go to try to get a lot of kills and how to operate them I'll definitely do that like salty retail. I'm really good at retail too and if you guys want to see that just let me know but yeah, if you guys liked it, make sure to like and subscribe, and peace out.